in this self no bobbly de baba dee ba doo doo Yo, so we're gonna I'm going to watch and you're gonna listen. I suppose if that's a thing that you do to the movie from IFC Films, Werewolves Within. It's a 2021 movie or film from 2021. Listening is where love begins. Listening to ourselves. And then... Our neighbors. Mr. Rogers. I don't know why they played such ominous music and then that boom. Mr. Rogers came on screen anyway. This is Werewolves Within from 2021. I'm not exactly sure how I got onto the subject of werewolves. Ubisoft. And of course the full moon is in the sky for a moment there. This is some cool... This music is creepy. Vanishing Angle. That's actually a cool logo and a cool name for a production company, I guess. We got an aerial shot. Looks like nighttime over maybe a forest of somewhat piney looking trees. I don't know if they're, in, they're like in that pine family of trees. You know, it's occurred to me that a lot of aerial shots are are acquired probably nowadays with uh, with drones. They're a lot less expensive than however they were getting a lot of aerial shots before, like with helicopters and stuff. So aerial shot comes over and comes down over some creepy looking house. There's a dude with a flip phone sitting against a tree out in the snow. He looks back. I don't know, like he's guilty of something. Like he's like, oh, yeah, I got away from the party for a little while. He's looking back again. He is opening up his hand, and he has in his hand a ring. Looks like a gold ring. All right, so all of a sudden, some trees get broken up, and there's a noise, and he gets startled, and he looks out into the woods. Remember, there's snow. It's wonderful snow. And uh, he looks kind of shocked. And so in and, and we... The, Camera pans from him, his back laying against a tree to the big house uh, that he was sitting in front of, but hiding behind a tree, whatever. And now this guy goes to explore the sun. This is so typical horror movie bullshit. He's like, hello. Something grabs him by the feet. We don't see what it is, but he's being pulled around in... Very much a way that you would see somebody pulled around in the water by, like, Jaws, for example. Just getting dragged around. He gets dragged away from... He starts trying to crawl towards the house. He gets dragged away. And and now there's a black dude driving 29.5 days later. It says on the screen in huge letters. Just yelled in a car. talking to himself he's listening to a recording says I want you to scream so I guess that's why he was screaming in the car before so it's kind of like some kind of personal development or self help tape we got a nice aerial shot again over some very brown and dried out looking brush area in that forest almost looks like a like a plains or a tundra Welcome to Beaverfield, and there's a little sign, and it says, Fight the Pipeline. So, so it's very lighthearted so far right now, after that apparent attack scene. And remember, the movie's called Werewolves Within, so, you know, we, don't, we can only assume that that guy was attacked by a werewolf but they didn't show it so he passes by a place called Midland Gas with apparently fire coming out of top the Beaverfield Inn so I guess this place he's in is called Beaverfield 
And the vehicle he's driving, interestingly enough, is one of those, um, I forget, it's, it's a Chrysler something. It's like this weird, like, I forget, I actually wanted one of those cars at one time. Uh, but I forget what the name of it is, is right now. But it's like this, it's this Chrysler that has like a, a vintage body style. Anyway, he comes up, dude has a gut. Um, so now I got to an older gentleman talking to a woman about the pipeline. Giggling. It was a pretty lady. And this guy's I guess trying to convince this lady. So now the gentleman who was in the truck screaming asked for Jeannie. He's like, Are you Jeannie? He's wearing a flannel. His name is apparently Finn Wheeler. And the the man is Stanley Parker. So apparently this guy Finn is like the new ranger in town. So he's going to be stationed. And there's this pipeline thing going on simultaneously. So this lady Janine. <laughs> she's carrying this stuff upstairs. And he's like, I, 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 I can get that. And she's like just banging his shit all over the place. Ah. Uh, a beverage. So again, it's very, I don't know if the word is campy, it's campy, lighthearted. So now there's a younger chick comes up, hi, Ranger. Finn Wheeler. Finn Wheeler. Male person. So the young pretty girl. She pulls out a mail for the Ranger. A big smile on her face, she's really cute. Um... I mean, very lighthearted. It's almost like a comedy. Interestingly enough, I was watching a movie last night that was supposed to be... Oh, I wonder if it's still here. Because there was a movie I was watching and then it got cut off. It was Arachnophobia. And I think it got deleted, so I'm going to have to look at it again. But Ragnophobia is supposed to be a, a, a comedy horror, or horror comedy, but there's very little comedy in it. Anyway, this movie is very lighthearted. It's fun. So, so Ranger Finn, he changes, and the, the male person, that cute girl, they're both outside in their gear. This motherfucker looks like Smokey the Bear. I don't know if you guys know what Smokey the Bear is. So they're walking out the front of this beaver field inn. And, uh, I don't know if you guys know Smokey the Bear, but... Only you can prevent forest fires. Only you. These commercials were on all the time, like in the... I don't know, maybe it was the, the 80s and the 90s. Okay, so they're walking out into the woods. I don't know where they're going. Beaver Fields. I see two signs. Beaver Field what? Something Trail and... Anderton Maple Farm. Okay. 
It's a beautiful rail trail on Anakin Vapor Farm. Anyway, still very lighthearted. Okay, so they're looking in a window. Winder. They're looking in a window. That guy doing yoga, apparently. And then you see guys close the. She said, by my algebra, it's been three whole weeks. So again, introduce some new characters, and they're very, very comical. Goofy gestures. The woman who's apparently a mechanic put a wrench against her crotch and pretended it was her the phallus of some kind, her penis. Okay. Now we've got another goofy chick just walks up. Crafting is my passion. And she just pulls out a ranger. She's like, I saw a whole pale me. Pulls out a little craft of a ranger with angel wings. Wow, so many people, so many characters being introduced. This guy just walks up and they kind of nose kiss and he has a puppy in his hand. And both of these actors look familiar. I can only imagine. This, this seems like it's going to be a really good movie. So far, the you know the the really light-hearted acting is really good. I feel like it's setting us up for some real fucked up shit. Such is life. You know. Life set me up some real fucked up shit. No. Not better. No, I just missed something very subtle. Hold on. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, you're back. You seem cool. Love that. You keep working. He's on Gwen in their sugar room. No. Is that, a, that aggressive um, mechanic lady? That's the one. That's, that's a bitch. Okay. So apparently... Now, what exactly is this? Oh, this? There is a little affair going on between the guy who's the girlfriend of the craft chick. Who nosed each other. Apparently had sex with the aggressive mechanic woman. <clears throat> Just getting to know each other. It's snowing heavy, lots of snow on the ground, snow on the trees. It's really nice. I really like this whole winter wonderland look where all the trees are dead and or hibernating. Beaverfield, 148 Rail Trail. And everything's covered in snow and the trees are bare. <clears throat> Wow, she's really pretty. The mail carrier. 
named Cicely. I'm gonna read the sign. You will be shot. You might want to read the. And then she, do it. And he walks <coughs> through, and she's like, "You're good." She just kind of waves it off. <coughs> As he walks, there are signs: trespass and die. Oh wow! And he looks up. Finally, he sees a a sign. I guess. He's a small cabin. Wow, it's really snowing hard right now. There's a lot of snow coming down here. It's a nice small little cabin. I wouldn't mind having one of those. I want to have a cabin in the woods, isolated from everything and everybody. It'd be an ideal place to die. No one come looking for you. No one will know. You can just rot and decay. Maybe you'll be preserved longer if it's snowing and cold. But you know, if people know you're a recluse and you just want to be alone, they won't bother you. They won't come looking for you. I mean, it could be weeks, months, years before they come and find your body. Alright, so he pulls aside a little drape and looks and there's a wolf in the window. Turns around and there's a guy in wolf clothing. Guy comes up with a gun. Yeah, I, I, I do believe the uniform is stupid. Like these, these ranger hats are weird. Like why do rangers, forest ranger people, everybody's got hats. Back that axe up, <laughs> the axe den. So then there was a mail carrier, Sicily, asked him if he's hungry. Apparently this small town mail people can just m candidly, nonchalantly do their job. So they come into some bar. Still very campy, even him getting pulled on a, pull, a getting a gun pulled on him by a guy wearing a wolf. It's like one of those outfits. You know, the the, the headpiece is was like his head was inside the wolf's mouth. So like the top of the wolf's head was on top of his head, like a hat. All right, she took off her mail carrier uniform, and now she's dancing to Ace of Base, and she's laughing and goofy and. It's really cute and, and sexy and, you know, the, the shirt she's wearing is really uh, showing her breasts, her breasts. Um, apparently she's a fun-loving mail carrier. So she's, so she's out of her mail carrier uniform. Your first kombucha? 
to the menu where the better comes along. Ooh, get back together. Well, technically we're not broken up. Ah, but you're not living together. No. You're not okay. seeing each other. Not currently. You're not talking. You're just texting. And you're keeping your options open. Because Charlotte thinks so. Oh my god. I'm broken up, aren't I? You think so? Want to do something violent? <laughs> Want to do something violent? Apparently they're accidentally. Wait a different way. Wait a different way. Yeah, that's what it is. Damn. She landed that axe first throw. He bounced it off the wall. Okay, so she can throw axes. This might be setting her up, though, for being a werewolf warrior. You know, fighting werewolves. So they're bonding. On the um, Flip, then lands on the second foot. Yeah, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know okay, so she's coaching him on how to throw an axe. He threw and he got it. He got him. They high five. They're having fun. Man, it's. I don't know. They just put a lot of. I mean, there's a. Not everybody, but I mean, this. She's she's really cute. Are you serious? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, changed my We're twenty one minutes into the podcast and twenty one minutes into the movie. I did rewind it once to hear some dialogue. She just handed him a book. They're very close. She's looking at him. I think I don't know if she has a crush on him or something. Or she's coming on to him maybe because he's new. He's the new ranger. Um, yeah, I think uh, there's like there's a, they're showing like a little romance happening here. She just asked him if she could kiss him. Yeah. Oh, she kissed him on the cheek. His phone's ringing. Hello? Hello? Are you serious? Hello? Are you really answering a call? Are you serious right now? Are you seriously Hello? answering a call? She gets mad because she, you know, she wanted to kiss him. Are you seriously yeah, no, answering a call? Yeah, just, you know, oh, it's, uh, she's weaving. She's putting her clothes on and she, or she grabbed her mail carrier clothes and walked out. He missed his chance. She was upset. Okay, back to outside. Wind blowing, snow uh, being blown across. Oops, looks like uh, we had a power outage somehow for some reason. Power outage. It's always, it's always good for a mo- movie about werewolves. Okay, let's see. What is this movie classified as? Cause this has got to be like, and I don't know why, why I got on the, the subject of werewolves, but I, I typed in werewolf movies, and this was the most recent one that I saw from 2021. Oh wait a minute! No, 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 no. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, well, Hotel Transylvania, uh, Transylvania, anyway, so that's, apparently, of course, that has werewolves. I gotta catch up with those Hotel Transylvania movies. I mean, I think I I might have watched the first one, but not paying very much attention to it, and I think it was pretty good. Alright, let's look at, right now, um, the synopsis. So, 79% of people like this movie, Google users... Werewolves Within, let's see, what, what, what does Google have to say? A snowstorm traps town residents together inside the local inn. Alright, so the lady who was, the crafts lady who we met earlier, who was n- nosing with the guy, uh, hear some noises, now she just starts screaming her ass off. Ranger... Wow, she's like a goddamn devil ate her baby. 
She might be talking about her dog. Yeah, she's holding like a, one of those retractable dog leashes. It's pink and it's bedazzled. Uh, she wears a lot of pink. Um, so apparently, I guess maybe her dog got fucked up by the wolf. Anyway. So still very comical. Probably just a coyote, says the pipeline guy. Um, a snowstorm traps... Resident, town residents together inside the local inn where newly arrived forest ranger Finn and postal worker Ces Cecily must try to keep the peace and uncover the truth behind a mysterious creature that has begun terrorizing the community. So the initial release was June 16th, 2021. So almost a year ago. Uh, budget was $6.5 million USD. Box office nine hundred and forty one thousand seventy one dollars USD. So apparently it didn't it doesn't look like it made his money back. It's a fun movie. The the, the nose guy tried to hug Cecily, the postal worker, and she ducked under him. I need to turn down this base a little. So now we have the, the aggressive mechanic and her boyfriend. And they said they got locked in. Something about a storm front. Uh, Ranger Finn grabs some binoculars. He looks out towards the mountains. And I guess he's confirming maybe that there is a storm front. What the hell? Some kind of fire. saw something, I don't know what it was. Alright. I've been looking forward to the re somebody wrote, I've been looking forward to the release of this movie and I gotta say that it did not disappoint. Werewolves Within is such a, f a fun whodunit. In the last couple minutes will absolutely something blah 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 blah. Who are these people? I don't know these actors. Milana... Weintraub or Weintraub, Sam Richardson, Annie Kruger, Harvey Gulen, Michaela Watkins, Glenn Flesher. Oh, yeah, okay, so here we go. Rotten Tomatoes says, This goofy horror comedy based on an online game of the same name just goes to prove that if you have a great cast, uh, smart direction, and witty script. Let's read the rest of that. What does that say? Holy shit. In a brick post, there are some very large fucking claw marks. Four, four of them. Holy crap. Whatever this creature is, it's fucking apparently gigantic. Because the claw marks are like as large as a poor person's torso. Like it, they span, they're really big. Like, at least the rib cage portion of a person's body. If, like, if somebody got hit with that, their whole body could be torn in half. Oh, shit. He found, like, a, something on the ground, and he pulled on it, and, the, and, a, and a dude's arm came with it. He goes inside to the inn, takes off his hat. You're right. You're right. It looks like you just seen a corpse. You're right. Okay. All right, let's see. Come on, Rotten Tomatoes. Where's the... Where, where, where was that thing I was just reading? Wait, what? What does that mean? It looks like, like somebody uh, went at him with, with, with a knife. What the hell do you mean? Let's see. That's cool. Critics consensus. Werewolves Within is the rare horror comedy that offers equal helpings of either genre and adds up to a whole lot of fun in the bargain. Okay. Hmm. After a proposed pipeline creates divisions within the small town of Beaverfield and a snowstorm traps its residents together inside the local inn, 
Millie Wright, Far and Stranger Finn, Sam Richardson, and Postal Worker Cecily, Milana Wayne Trub. I'm gonna say Vane Trub. It says Vane to the V, but I think it's Wayne Trub. Wayne Trub or Wayne Trub must try to keep the peace and uncover the truth behind a mysterious creature that has been in terror and community. So same thing as before. They see a corpse and everybody's freaking out and screaming like people do, which I don't understand why people do that. Wow. I don't know who this lady is here who's taking photos and saying that it's a wolf and that leg muscles torn, that's how they mobilize immobilize their prey. And she pulls something, looks like a, she's got tweezers, pincers. Looks like so she pulls something, puts it in the tube. She's wearing a brown jacket. She's a tomboyish looking woman. Also attractive. I don't know, you know, I don't know what, if that matters to anybody. It matters to me. I like, I like beautiful faces. I like the faces of beautiful people. Uh, I don't see, where the fuck is that review that I was reading? It seemed really good for a moment back there a goofy horror comedy based on the game of the same name so why when I click on Rotten Tomatoes do I not see that same fucking review what is wrong with this goddamn shit who does that fuck man like, you, you expect to just click on it right and then you would just see right that same Description right away. Anyone else? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So I'm, I'm really disappointed, Rotten Tomatoes. I don't like you. I've never really paid much attention to Rotten Tomatoes, and now I know why. This fucking website sucks. Fuck you, Rotten Tomatoes. Wow, so apparently this Cicely really likes this dude for some reason. And she's like, I was trying to make out with you, and then we don't because your ex-girlfriend calls. <coughs> Yeah, I can't really grow hair on my chest. And it takes a really long time for me to grow a beard. So, I don't know. She said man up. Although I do know a podcast called Man Up Podcast. Which reminds me. This dude named Big B. I need... Fucking synop I just can't believe it. It seemed like it was going really good. Right? That whole description. I'm just not gonna do it anymore. <laughs> Let me click on the werewolves within official website, June twenty fifth, two thousand twenty one. So we got there. Anyway. Wow. It's a really great website. I just don't understand, like, when a killer terrorizes the residents of a small town, the new forest ranger must find out who or what lurks among them. 
After proposed price li pipeline creates divisions within the small town of Beaverfield and a snowstorm traps its residents together inside the local inn, newly arrived forest ranger Finn and postal worker Cecily must try to keep the peace and uncover the truth behind a mysterious creature that has begun terrorizing. Saying, yes, I read that from before. Cool pictures on the website. Anyway, I'm just... It's got a cool cover photo, cover image. So, all right. So there's a little bit of a lull, apparently. That's why I was reading. Oh, cool, a centrifuge. That's an old school centrifuge. So, apparently they're trying to figure out. So, I guess it's been established that Cecily and Finn are the main protagonist of this film. And even though no no hook and up has happened yet, there's a sexual attraction. More so, it shows from her to him. Oh, look, the So now they're back to the crazy guy who's run the wolf face. So they go to his cabin. In conclusion, what we're asking is that you, you know, track this thing down and kill it. <laughs> okay. No. So they want to. Oh, thank you for your time. You've made yourself perfectly clear. Wolf killer guy. They asked him to ki track it down and kill it, and he I laughs at them. That you're proud of being you know, tucked away in the outskirts of this town, but you know you're still a part of this town. This thing is killing people in the place where you live, and the people in this town. I mean, everybody's going, yeah. How the how the heck are we gonna get rid of this monster? You know what, everybody. Every so one apparently, of them, they think it's a wolf. They all voted for you. I was really but they I mean I'm sure of course they don't yet know it's a werewolf and you know no matter what their differences are people deserve to feel safe I guess what we're asking is that you mm. you be a good neighbor written by you know Mishnah like Wolf <laughs> that's great so the person who wrote it has the name Wolf, yeah. last name Wolf with two F's. Mishna Wolf, that's kind of hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, directed by Josh Rubin. You know, and uh, all these people, Sam Richardson, Milano, Wayne Trubb, George Basil, Basil, Sarah Burns, Michael Chermis, Catherine Curtin, Wayne Duvall, Henry... Guilin or Guilin, Rebecca Henderson, Cheyenne Jackson, let's see, show more. Uh, Michaela Watkins, Glenn Fisher, produced by. I can't read those people's names. Oh, Sam Richardson was one of the producers. Anyway. <coughs> So now they're claiming they're like, okay, all of the the the, the generators are conveniently mangled by an animal. They're like saying somebody, like somebody did this. They're saying a person must have done it. What's known is that animals don't sabotage generators, but guess what is covered in hair and totally can a werewolf. No, no, again, wasn't wasn't gonna say that. I was going to say. Okay, so Emerson Flint is apparently the werewolf killer guy who was wearing wolf skins. I'm just... I wish I could find... Man, again, I, you know, I have to say, fuck you, Rotten Tomatoes. You're a piece of shit website. That's just garbage. It's one of the worst websites. Like, I do my own websites, and my websites are really so simple. But the... The Rotten Tomatoes website, at least from what I clicked on, is, sh is such a piece of shit. I can't believe people use that. It's such a garbage put together website. Like, it's just such a piece of shit.
being super garbage. He's just locking the door as he walks towards them. They're all freaking out. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I mean, but it's not just, it's not over the top. It's just, it's really... It's not subtle comedy. I don't know how... I don't know what kind of comedy this is. It's entertaining. It's entertaining. Let's see if I click on the... What's this website? Showtime. Let's see if they have anything better. A small town of Beaverfield is in disarray due to disagreements over proposed pipeline. Intentions are brought to a head when several residents become snowbound in a local inn. Forest stranger Finn and postal worker Cecily must keep the peace between feuding townsfolk all the while trying to unlock the mystery of a strange creature wreaking havoc through the community. And so these descriptions are pretty much the same across the board, but I just, I still can't find that one that was supposedly on the Rotten Tomatoes website, right? That says, this goofy horror comedy based on an online game with the same name just goes to prove that if you have a great cat, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to copy and paste that and put that, refeed that back into Google and see if I can find that. Because this is annoying. Like, it seemed like it's such a good, you know, I like a good, you know, synopsis or, or summary. And this shit is annoying that... All right, Werewolves Within Review. Witty Horror Who Done It Gets It. Okay, so this is The Guardian. All right, let me click on that. Okay, oh, your privacy. Okay, you know, let's pop up. The horriest of horror premises a secret werewolf killing, the townsfolk one by one is pulled off with surgical comical skill. Right, I'm gonna have to rewind that. Okay, good. So this is comes from the Guardian. It's not even from Rotten Tomatoes. Fuck you, Rotten Tomatoes. You piece of shit. You stole the fucking headline, the fir the opening sentence of, of uh, you know, of the Guardian, and put it on your site and made it seem like you guys were doing this shit. But you're just fucking garbage. Fuck you, Rotten. See, fuck you again, Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes can kiss my ass. I'm pausing to move that. We rewound, rewound it because I want to look at this. This review here from The Guardian. Apparently it's from The Guardian and it has nothing to do with Rotten Tomatoes except the fact that they fucking stole it. Alright. Here we go. This goofy horror comedy based on an online game of the same name just goes to prove that if you have a great cast, smart direction, and witty script, you can just about get away with murder. Or at least with pulling off the horriest of horror premises, a whodunit where one of the characters is a secret werewolf killing the others one by one. Okay, there we go. Cuddly Wimp Finn Wheeler, Sam Richardson, prob best known probably for a minor but indelible role in Veep arrives in a one-street rural burg in New England to take up a post as the new forest ranger. He's shown around town and introduced to the residents by a perky ace axe thrower and local male person, Cecily Milana Weintraub. It soon becomes clear that, like so many uh, ex-urban communities in that region, the small population is half-made up of red state holdouts such as local craft store owner Trisha Michaela Watkins from Glorious apparently and her maple syrup harvesting husband Pete Michael Chermis. Is that Chernus? Chernus. And half of hipster 
incomers from the coast enjoying how far their wolf wealth goes in the sticks, like gay couple Joaquin Harvey Gwillen from the TV series What We What What We Do in the Shadows, and Devon Cheyenne Jackson, who makes a fortune in tech. As if lifestyle choices and who voted for whom in the last two elections isn't enough to set the two factions squabbling, there's an energy executive, Wayne Duvall, in town trying to get people to agree to let a pipeline go through their land. All right. So that's, that's, uh, let's see, I guess there's, there's not very much left to read. I'll read the rest of it. All that social political stuff is definitely there, but only as an underlying baseline, while the main melody of the film is the gradual picking off of the characters in comically grisly fashion during a snowstorm one night when everyone happens to be at a hotel at, at hotel owner Janine's Catherine Curtin, Janine's big spooky house. The ensemble ratchets up the hysteria with surgical comic skill, orchestrated superbly by Josh Rubin's sharp direction. Even the obligatory transformation scene, without which no werewolf movie is complete, is a giggle fest. All right. Werewolves Within is released on 19 July on digital platforms and DVD. What the... Right, so all right, all right, okay, so there's that. Let me start this back up here. So, the craft woman, the, so, so Ranger Finn and Cicely pulled. And they got a collar from Emerson, the wolf hunter guy, and they think he all killed the dog, and maybe the the innkeeper, Janine's husband, apparently. Because I think he's dead. He's, that's, I think that's the arm that they found earlier. All right. So, let's see. All right. And away we go. Yeah, and you know, again, fuck you, Rotten Tomatoes. That's not your... How dare you? How dare you use the Guardian's first sentence on your website, and then when I click on RottenTomatoes.com, which uses that headline, and it's nowhere on the site. It's such a disappointment. I, I, okay, so now we're back to whoever this scientist lady is. Who's using these Just DNA the samples? Our so knowledge. she's everything about this predator is unorthodox. Everything about this predator is unorthodox. It's not human. So the the tomboyish it's scientist, no matches in the database. <coughs> who is, who is a pretty lady herself, but uh, she's given some kind of. Wow. It's fucking rad. And so meanwhile, the aggressive mechanic chick sees a picture of some kind of like wood carving uh, reprint on the walls as this lady's talking about that he was eaten alive. It says, that's fucking rad. She sees like a werewolf. All right. People would have to double up. I mean, I think they'd be fine. Right, Cecily? Okay, so let's go. Uh, out of curiosity, who is packing? I am, yes, sir, America. Shh. Well, right. wow. Who is packing? Everybody pulls out guns. She's not practicing good gun safety. In every room, you know, just to be safe. 
43 minutes in, so we have less than an hour left in the movie, because it's on an hour and 36 minutes. Having a good old fashioned sleepover with guns. So I'm guessing Dr. Ellis is the, the tomboyish woman. So he said Dr. Ellis and he said professor. Okay, so she's in her room, she's on a computer, she's, she's doing some DNA sequencing, I guess, on a computer. She's looking all weird and shit. What does her screen say? It's flashing okay. something on the screen. It says results pending. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, everyone. Let's lock <clears throat> okay, so now they're locking themselves in. I mean, this is good. You know, it's less than an hour in the movie, less than f just almost 45 minutes, and they've already decided to hunker down because they found, you know, some body parts. Which is smart. So far, nobody's being stupid. Ranger Finn is sleeping on a couch, it, apparently, it seems, with a gun in his hand. That's not where you keep the gun, though. You don't keep the gun exposed like that in front of your body where somebody can just easily walk up and grab it or immobilize it. You know, you have it hidden in some place where you can easily grab it if you're... Anyway, I'm not going to get into all the self-defense stuff. It's just a stupid place to have a gun. But this is, this is a movie. It's fiction. It's comedy. Horror. Right? I guess they just wanted to establish that he, he has a, a gun. And it looked like a wheel gun. Was, it, was that a revolver? I think it was a revolver. I wasn't really paying attention. but um, Yeah. So it is. Alright. Now we cut to... The goofy craftsman's wife, who is a beekeeper, apparently, makes sweets with uh, honeybees. Oh, shit. Whoa, so he just got snatched out of his bed from his wife. And again, they're not showing the werewolf. It's like the same thing as the dude in the beginning of the... Oh, jeez. Blood just sprayed all over his face. Fuck. And the mechanics... Wife, oh shit, his fingers got bit off. Can someone please look for my hand? Hell yeah, I got you, bro. Damn, he got shot a bunch of times by the mechanic chick. All right, so here comes the professor. How many times you ask stupid questions? Guys, it was obviously an accident. An accident or not, we're all together playing an accident. Okay, so this professor lady, she comes out. She's taking pictures. It's funny because, you know, how many times did you fire? How many times did you ask stupid questions? So the professor finds another fur, and she's looking all freaked out. Dr. Ellis? Did somebody just hand her a flask? Looks like somebody just handed her a flask. And when I say a flask, like I mean, um, probably had, you know, some liquor in it. Alright, Dr. Ellis, looking all freaked out with the flask. Yeah, it's a flask in her hand. Closes her door behind her. Has her tweezers. 
with the uh, the fur on it that she pulled off the the dude's body, but she just sticks it in her um, her denim jacket pocket. She's got blood on the side of her hand. And she just locks her door behind her. Now they're helping out the dude. Mm, yeah, what could have gotten in there? How did it get in here? Yeah. How did they get out? Who says it got out? Yeah, so apparently we're setting this up that one of them is a Varulf. Were werewolf, that is. Why, 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 why do I know that word Varulf? I mean, I mean, what language is that? It's got to be like one of the European Scandinavian... Is it German? Var Ulf. Because I know Ulver. Var Ulf. Maybe I should put it into translate. Var Ulf. Ah, uh, from Middle Low German. Var Ulf. From Proto West Germanic. Yeah. Okay. So. Full moon shots. There's again the wood carving of the creature with the wolf head. We're looking at the professor. I'm hearing like some voices in her head. I don't know what the hell's going on. Let me set uh, a translate to detect language. Okay, translate to English. What the fuck? Damn, Dr. Ellis is freaking out. She's like, touch this door again and I'll shoot. She just... Right. Varul. Werewolf. Swedish. All right. There we go. There we go. Ooh. She said, it's not Emerson Flint, it's one of you. Wow. Damn, she got a bottle of wine. She just drank it straight out of it. She just dropped it and broke it on the floor. Why would you do that? A lycanthrope. A Like one of what? A lycanthrope. A werewolf. What is this? Dumbass Irish? Drunk. She's dumbass Irish, baby. You're fucking shit. This room is back door. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is it next, Dr. Ellis? I, I know you're freaked out. Ha, ha. I wonder how her gen genetic thing came up with, with werewolf. Like... Damn. What the fuck? Oh, man. Don't tell me that pipeline guy killed Dr. Ellis. Because, like... She kind of figured it out. Damn. I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'm I'm definitely uh, I definitely don't want to live. Um, thousand percent suicidal. But in the face of a werewolf, I would rather face a werewolf than kill myself. I'd I'd let the werewolf kill me. You know, I I would. I definitely I would not kill myself before being encountered by a werewolf. I mean, eaten alive and and whatnot. I mean, movies are crazy, man. Especially when. Okay, why are we even talking about werewolves? Why not? Werewolves. Every culture's got a werewolf story. Curse of the Lycanthrope. Yeah, that's um. 
think Macanthropy, one of my favorite bands, from one of my favorite singers, death metal vocalist Chris Barnes, did a, had a band called Six Feet Under, and I think their first studio album, first or second, Haunted, I think so, had the song called Lycanthropy. Something like that. Let's, let me check that out. It's a cool thing. Ticket it Ticket 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 yeah, six feet under lycanthropy. Have you killed my dog? Hmm, official metal blade record. Looks like I listened to it at some point in time ago. Uh, six feet under lycanthropy. It's a cool song. I really like it. I really like lycanthropy. What the fuck? Come on, bullshit. Alright. So the official video from... <coughs> from Metal Blade Records. So, you know, it's it's pretty cool. I see. Put it's entertaining. And smoke the fucker out. Why is he sticking a gun in her face? Okay, so everybody has agreed to put their guns away together. So they locked their guns away in a clock. Lock a door. Open a window. They just threw the fucking keys out the window. Okay, that's not. That's not what I would have done. Shit, dog. Hey, Trish has the most motive here, I think. What? Yeah, you hated Pete ever since my girl Brett fucked him. Uh, I'm missing your hand. First of all, that was four years ago, and also it never happened. That's kind so of yeah, yeah, it's from the album Haunted. I was correct about that. I'd like to play you guys that track. Let me see if I can get it. Hold on. I think I have it somewhere. Let me. Let me see, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get haunted from six feet under and play that. Many of you may not be metal fans. <coughs> and it may disturb you. Um, but you know, I'm not here to please everybody. I've had to stop giving a fuck. I'm really, really, really... I'm really disturbed and depressed. I'm fucked up, man. I don't know how much longer I... What the hell is this? Your husband wanted to sell, and your story about him is so bad. That's right. That's right. It looks like I got it downloaded. I just bought, I bought that track a while ago. I actually bought that CD 
You guys know what those are? Like compact discs? Yeah, actually, I bought that. And, uh... Let's see. Did I get it? So people are kind of freaking out. It's comical. I'm not really that interested in this part of the movie. That's why I'm able to... So, so far, all the stuff that I've been straying away from the movie is just because... Even though it's interesting and it's kind of comical, it's not that necessary to pay that much attention to it. It's like part of the movie where you could talk to your your friend or your partner or whoever you're hanging out with while you're watching the movie. You're not... You're not missing much. All right. There we go. I got it. All right. All right, six feet under. I see you. Now we're gonna we're gonna upload that into the Spreaker software here that I'm using. <clears throat> All right. Where where is it at? They're all freaking out. There we go. Got it. Alright, so you guys might get a treat of hearing uh, Lacanthropy from Six Feet Under. So now everybody's arguing. Gave her the booze. They're arguing. <laughs> the fucking aggressive mechanic chick is air guitaring for some reason. Finn gets up and throws He's trying to take control. And remember what we wanted out of this community when we moved here? Yeah, like, like you, Trish. What? I mean, we know that you're devastated by Chachi. Yeah, yeah, we really do. But you made us all those... <gasps> soap bottle angels. Yeah, those. And I mean, soap I don't know bottle angels. About anybody else, but that made me feel amazing. I still keep mine on the mantle. Yeah, to my dismay. And Devin... I know you feel that everything bad came in with Parker, but you know some of your neighbors aren't technical neighbors. A little extra money would mean a lot to them. Well, we're not actually neighbors, are we? Huh? Yeah. And Janine, you've been That's so cool. generous, in spite of all your grief. I know it's easy to point the finger and fear each other. And this is the moment you're trying to bring everybody together. This is a community. Thin. You know, one that agrees about more than it doesn't. You know, hard work. Be a good neighbor. Be a long place to meet. Have a sandwich. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes in movies, Love. I'd rather not have these moments. I mean, it's, a, it's supposed to be a comedy. Common, you know. Um, but there's a lot of meaningless shit. In movies that I would rather we've all had a little sleep. not have. So. I saw what happened to Pete and I saw what happened to Dave. And I'm not going to let that happen to me and Marcus. Let's go, Marcus. Hell yeah. Safer out there. I, I like a lot of, I like films with nonstop action. Wow, so the mechanic and beekeeper left. And then so did another dude. and intolerance has reared its ugly head. We are going to wait this out at home. Okay, so now everybody's slowly leaving the inn. So they're all just for some reason just leaving. All right. So now we have uh, Janine, the inn keeper, the owner of the inn. We have the mail carrier or postal worker, Cecily. How are you gonna protect yourself? And 
Finn, the, the ranger, okay, all together in one place. And Cecily just back hugged him after she asked, how are you going to protect yourself? And he's like, I've got my trusty bear spray. Apparently there's a spray for all kinds of animals. I mean, you got dog mace, if you got bear mace. Wow, so now we open to a scene. Oh, it looks like the the guy with the pipeline has a one of those gearbox with those carved out sections to fit weaponry that has like guns and like spears. Some kind of arrows. And it looks like they're like crossbow arrow so maybe this guy's a werewolf hunter maybe he's there for hunting werewolves and not actually just like a pipeline guy so who knows the plot thickens but that's kind of cool to see i always love when when i see stuff like that like you know when you got your shit together in a certain way where you've got a box of gear that's just specifically curated for killing a certain type of beast or something. It's kind of cool. It's kind of, kind of cool. What the fuck? There's only three of you there. Why is everybody just popping up on each other like that? Because, you know, if I, you know, I, 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 you know, I like to bust a cap and a werewolf with my own gear like that. You know what I'm saying? Just be like, yo, werewolf, check this out. You know? Gotta shoot, shoot yourself a werewolf. And then, after that, I take a picture of his body and send it to the media. But I think first you have to take the picture of the werewolf and then shoot it. Because... Usually when we see those kind of scenarios in werewolf movies, right? The werewolf lore tells us that if you kill the wolf in its wolf form, it reverts back to human form. And so if you take a picture afterwards, then you're basically taking a picture of a, of a human body and it just makes you look like a crazy murderer. Okay. So she's looking at a newspaper article. What does it say? Mauling leaves two dead outside Grout Pond. That's what the, the mail carrier Cecily has. And she says, hey, Finn. And he says, yeah, while he opens a drawer. Did you see uh, and Township? Where he says, uh, yeah. he sees something wrapped up inside something, and he's unwrapping something, and it's a knife. In a drawer. And she says, did you say you were in Grout Pond? And da 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 And that's what the newspaper article said. Mauled. So, the gay couple of the story is out in the woods. And... A bunch of people start flashing lights on them. Everybody's like, who's there? Who's there? What's that smell like? He pulls out the knife, he's pointing at her, and he's like, what's that, what's that smell like? She takes it from him. And she puts it up to her nose. Diesel? Bloody rag diesel. The generators. The generators. So apparently somebody used that knife to cut the generators. Oh no, that's not the gay couple. See, I was mistaken. It's the, it's the goofy couple. Or who is it? I don't know. I, I can't really tell. It's not really good lighting. And I'm also not very capable of paying the best attention right now. I found a map with a bunch of red X's on it. And like, what is this about? Oh, it is the gate. I don't know what is happening right now. Oh, shit. Guy got grabbed by something. What was that? 
What the hell? Trish! What the fuck? Maple tap. It's where the sweet stuff comes out. What the hell is she doing? I want my craft store. She's like, maple tap is where the sweet stuff comes out. She just stuck a maple tap into this one dude's neck. Okay, so I was right. Both couples, rather, so the gay couple and the the craft lady, and she just pulled a she like maple tap is where the sweet stuff comes out. And then for some reason, she stuck it in one of the gay dudes' necks. I don't know why. She's cracking up. But she's definitely not a wolf. Okay, so now the pipeline guy has a black hat on and he's got night vision binoculars on his face and a rifle with a scope like sort of like a sniper rifle type of deal and he just walks through somewhere but then Finn and Cecily are walking through they make a noise on the floor <clears throat> hey and they run outside He's got some pretty sophisticated... He's got a nice bright flashlight on his rifle. Yeah, why is the gas guy wearing a bunch of fancy hunting gear? Okay, so the other gay guy is hanging under the same place with Cecily and Finn. He got separated, something's out there. Uh, so now there's just three of them together, and now we're looking at a painting of Trisha's dog. And he probably can be for safety, so he's probably in here, right? Devin? So one Sorry. of the gay pair. Yeah, I'm referring to them as gay people, just like you would refer to somebody as a black dude or a white dude. They open a door and go into a room and Freddy Krueger glove on? That's easy. Rachel, what am I doing? I taped, I taped knives to my hand. And then underneath is just my hand, but it's definitely with the knives on it. Mm. And I'm going to steal everybody's shit, and then I want to make it look like a werewolf did it. Well, if you end up being a werewolf, that's a big fucking disappointment. Right? <laughs> Marcus, I see you got some knives. Damn. It's my work shirt. He, he taped a bunch of knives to his hand. And it's very Frederick Kruger. This is hilarious, actually. This is like one of the funniest scenes in the whole movie. Okay, he's running out into the road. Is he going to get hit by a car? Oh, yeah, see, I just knew that. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Yeah, this <clears throat> out the back. Let's go out the back, so, aggressive mechanic chick backed up and ran over the dude with who tape basically made a Freddy Krueger glove with his hand, and then immediately after that, she gets shot in the fucking head by who did that? It says, gotcha, home wrecker, who is that? I don't know who that is, though. I don't recognize her, but apparently earlier, I know that the Cecily, the post postal worker, mentioned that 
somebody slept with somebody in your eye. I don't know. I just, I just couldn't see very well who it was. Oh, right. So it was her. That's okay. So that's okay. I get it now. So the craft woman is the one who shot the mechanic chick in the head because the beekeeper guy slept with the mechanic chick, and that's what they were talking about earlier. And so that was the craft worker. She has a little her little gun. She shot her in the head. So that's just fucked up. Peter looks like. What did you do? Peter, no! You killed Peter. You killed my husband. Oh, God. So, gay dude just hit her with a fucking. Like a, um, a poker? Like one of those. Oh, shit, she just fell into the fireplace and her head's on fire. Oh God. Well, it's the oldest, most effective means of converting guys. No God. There's Parker. What are you hunting at? Such as the youngest of seven. You guys are walking his pipeline. I mean, I'm the pain in the ass sent to give him a hard time. So he could be hunting any of us. But it's not any of us. You know, because none of us see any actual evidence for where we no, yeah, good point. Ellis was taking all those hair samples with that machine thing. I mean, science, am I right? It's just something doesn't add up. Hmm. Fucking. Why does he now have a gun? He has the gun. She's a seventh boy. The, the artsy. You sent your goddamn cell ranger, didn't you? Dude, yeah. hey. Okay, so we're an hour and 14 in, out of an hour and 36, which means we have like 22 minutes left. Or maybe 20 at the very most. Oh shit, what the fuck just happened? Alright, so gay dude was holding a gun to the post post worker's head thinking to use werewolf just got shot by Parker, the apparent werewolf hunter who apparently has like a crossbow or something. And it like went through his arm to get that dude. And she's trying to start a truck. Parker is deducing that the ranger, Finn, is the werewolf. Cecily by the hair. Oh, he raised the crossbow to shoot Finn, and she kicked him in the leg, and Finn just got on top of this old white dude and started to punch him in the face. Ooh, shit! He had a fucking knife up his sleeve. 
Like literally, like a retractable, like a switchblade knife. Oh, he pulled out his bear mace. So Finn got stabbed one time. Oh shit. He's gonna shoot at a gas thing. Wow, that's a cool shot. They showed off in the distance a nice explosion. And a full moon. So, gay dude still alive, had a gun, even though he got shot in the chest. He shoots this little tower of flame from the gas company, and it blows up, and it hits. It blows up Parker. Her hair is all disheveled. Um, power starts coming back on, looks like. Back. He's got a stab That's wound. Alright, where are we at? 118. So, anywhere between, you know, 16 to 18 minutes left with the, the post credits. I'm very grateful that you saved my life. Thank you. Thank you. So dude's bleeding. They're back inside uh, her bar, whatever it is, where she bought him the first time. She tried to make out with him, but it got interrupted because he answered a phone call by his ex-girlfriend that he didn't realize was his ex-girlfriend. But, haha, <laughs> this is a sign all gender restroom and they have a, the male, female symbol and a wheelchair symbol on it. But like, <laughs> wheelchair is not a gender. Oh, man. So that was the second funniest part of the movie. So it's not a whole heaping lot of like crazy laughs or like insane heart. Fuel Injector Kit Services Company. CC Gwent, what? Hold on. Gwent Sikowski Beaver Auto. Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> Sisley might be the werewolf because I remember that the the auto mechanic chick was looking for that fuel injector earlier in the movie and didn't know where it was and the, and the, the, the male girl was supposed to deliver it okay now he goes in the room and there's a whole bunch of newspaper clippings taped to a mirror and a whole bunch of packages that apparently weren't delivered so postal girl and why is what is this whistling and he finds a badge, and it's from David J. something. I don't see the name, I'm not gonna rewind it. She might be the fucking werewolf. So there might actually be a werewolf. Um, I mean, she's in a perfect position to hide shit by withholding people's mail in her little bar, whatever. She likes this guy, but does she like him? Or she's just saving him to eat him or turn him into a werewolf? I, I don't know. What's going on? So he's now creeping around her place, you know, with suspicion. So she's standing there. It's you, isn't it? Is she licking her fingers? The blood that she just... Oh shit. Were you even in a punk band? Yeah. I just didn't actually break up though. You ate I them. I ate them. Yeah. Yuck. Oh, come on, Finn. Didn't I seem a little too good to be true? No. You, uh, you seem. You seemed great. Oh no, Finn. Help me. What do we do next? The car won't start. Finn! Sam Parker has me by the hair! That, that's great. Don't yell at me. That's not yelling. It's taking a 
tell me. This is yelling. Okay. So I guess this is the changing into a wolf scene now. Is she gonna do it? You, you really uh... werewolf. Yeah. Werewolves are real. Women who read Walden while drinking kombucha and getting turned on by your Yellowstone stories. They're a fantasy. <laughs> Stoneworker. It was really a districting thing. You ate Trisha's dog. Oh, I made it! You ate Pete. It's a hand. Some men do the same when they want to guide you. So actually, she actually is pretty hot as a werewolf. <clears throat> lower back. I hate that. So, now she's doing the whole reveal. You know, you're a werewolf and you know it. Later. I knew there'd be that snowstorm, but that roadblock. Mm, baby. Just... So using human intelligence. You almost blew up my shit, though. You know that, right? I kept trying to turn you into one of them, but... You're pathological. And what is my pathology exactly? You're too fucking <clears throat> nice! Will your kumbaya speeches and your small Gee golly goodness. You're a monster. Girls gotta eat. And I got dinner on ice till spring. Huh. <laughs> what? I, you mock me for being nice this, this whole time. You've been mocking me for being nice. But, but you know what? I gotta tell you. I'm a nice person, right? I'm considerate, I'm compassionate, I care. <clears throat> People want me to change, but there's nothing wrong with me. I'm no. a nice person who wants to do nice things for other people. I'm and actually nice people do things for other interested people, in this you know? explanation. Sorry! I want to see how this you. plays out. Because okay be nice. there's a still okay. photo that I haven't seen nice. yet with where for, Finn, you know, the ranger, has two axes, one in each hand. Like from the axe throwing that she was doing earlier. So. In a dog eat dog world. Somehow. Maybe he. Be nice. Kills her with two axes. Or you could be me. Okay. Okay, so she drops down on her hands and knees. <clears throat> so now she's changing into a werewolf. A crazy looking werewolf. Oh shit. Somebody just came up and hit her in the back of the head with a fucking Ash, shovel. What are you doing here? It's Emerson, the wolf hunter guy. Being a good neighbor. You know, like Mr. Rogers. I just. Oh shit. So, too much standing around talking. She just bit him on his shit. He fucking stabbed her. So, they're fighting and wrestling. She's a werewolf. She one-handedly throws him against the wall and then throws him across the room. She's got a knife sticking out of her arm. She's bleeding out of her nose. Apparently he fucked her up that way. Now she's tearing through shit. Can't she smell him? And I don't know, does she get heavier somehow? Like she's defying a lot of physics? Because now all of a sudden her footsteps really heavy. Doom, doom. Doom, doom. 
Or is she just stomping harder because she's wolfing now? You gotta be able to smell him. Come on, babe. You're a werewolf. You can't tell where he is. And she's still got like all her clothes on mostly. T-shirt and everything. Okay, there's the scene. He grabs two axes. He throws one at her and throws another and misses. So he's throwing a bunch of axes at her. He's not really good at it. One lands into a target on the wall. He's like, hey, all right. So it's comical. She's on top of him now. Uh, what's he going to do? Dude, he just kicked her in the fucking face. Oh, shit. What did he just stab her in the side of the neck with? And she just fell off to the side. That can't be it for her. An hour and 27, hour and 28 minutes. And we got 68 minutes left out of one hour and 36. And 21 seconds. So he's still laying on his back. I don't know. Why do people relax? You got to finish the job. Like You got to take the head off. You got to make sure the day you don't just stab them in the neck and they fall to the side. And then you just lay there. Like, all relieved? Don't you get up and you finish the fucking job? I don't know. Maybe I just have too much killer instinct. Maybe I'm just... I'm a closer. Okay, so Finn injured, turns around. But he didn't tend to the, the werewolf girl. Like, you have to finish her. He picks up Emerson. Right, whatever. She's gonna. She has to pop up again. She's not dead. Saved my life. Yeah. She's gonna jump on these two guys. And yep, I see her in the background getting up. And Emerson got bitten. He might be a wolf too. So she's getting up. She pulls whatever that fucking thing is out of her neck. Because, right, that's not how you kill a werewolf. You gotta, like, what's the mythology? What's the lore? Silver bullets, decapitation. Finn looks over, doesn't see her. She's, like, lurking behind something. See, this is why you gotta, you have to finish. There she comes. Oh, who, now who shot her? So she jumped at both of them, and she just got hit. And so now we're gonna look, and we're probably gonna see Parker. Because I'm not sure. I don't think Parker got killed. Parker, you hear a weapon. Oh no, it's Janine. Make your own damn sandwich. Make your own damn sandwich. Janine, that older pretty lady. Alright. Werewolves within. Alright. Interesting. Directed by Josh Rubin. Written by Mishnah Wolf. Based on the video game Werewolves Within. Produced by Jason Altman, Margaret Boykin, and Andrew Lieberman. Natalie Metzger, Matt Miller, and Benjamin Weissner. Sam Richardson, producer. Hmm. Executive producer, Gerard Guillermo. Co-producers Justice McClarity. Uh, McClarty. Director of Photography Matthew Weiss. Production designer Brett Tanzer. Edited by Brett W. Bachman. Costume designer David Tabert. Music by Anna Drubik. Music supervisor Dan Wilcox. Casting by Gail Keller and Emmer O'Callaghan. Sam Richardson. Milana Weintraub. Or Weintraub. I don't even pronounce it. George Basil. Or Basil. Sarah Burns. Michael Chernis. It's an N. Catherine Curtin. Wayne Duvall. Harvey 
Guillen, Guillen, I don't know. Rebecca Henderson. I don't, I don't do French. Cheyenne Jackson. Michaela Watkins. Was it Cheyenne? Anyway. And Glenn Fleshler. IFC Films presents a Ubisoft film and television production. A Vanishing Angle production. Werewolves Within. Alright. And the credits roll at... So that was at least a minute ago. So there's like five minutes of credits in this movie. Because it's 132 right now. We still have 136. Right, so that's still four minutes. And those credits started rolling like a minute ago that I read. So a lot of credits in the movie. Entertaining. You know. I don't know what the Rotten Tomatoes score is. And I don't give a fuck because you suck Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes is such a shit. What a shit. I'm still upset. It's such a shitty fucking thing to do. That you use the first sentence of a Guardian article. And when I click on it, it's nowhere to be found. No credit to the Guardian, no link to the Guardian, no like, hey, this front, these first few sentences came, came from the Guardian. Now, I haven't done my research. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Rotten Tomatoes is a subsidiary of the Guardian, and I don't know that. Yet still, when I clicked on Rotten Tomatoes, it's just such, you know, I'm not a fan of Rotten Tomatoes. You know, there's a reason why I I avoided using your services years ago to look up anything. Because you're trash. I don't don't know. I don't understand why anybody uses Rotten Tomatoes. It's such fucking trash. Like, my first experience going there, really, and looking at anything, was just a trash experience. It's fucking such trash. It's like such a... I don't know. It's like a clickbaity, just dumb fucking website. Where a bunch of fucking degenerates go and post a bunch of bullshit. It just seems like... I I don't know. It seems like a garbage, shitty fucking website. And I'm I'm just... You lost me. And and, and and you know... uh, uh, And and you know... Rotten Tomatoes? I know you don't give a fuck about me. And I know that you... You, you don't care whether I go to your website or not. But I just clicked on your website right now, and it's such a piece of shit. This is a garbage website. I just clicked on here. What a piece of shit website. Wow. Morbius, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, everything everywhere. Yeah, it's a piece of shit website. This is garbage. When is May 6th? Is uh, Multiverse of Madness? When did Morbius come out? I think my buddy can send that to me. I'm going to see if I can find Morbius. I want to check out Morbius. Anyway, I'm getting off Rotten Tomatoes website because you guys are fucking shit. I don't know. People, look. I'm not going to try to sway your opinions on what websites you use to get your movie news. I use the most popular one, um, which is, you know, I love, I'm I'm an IMDb fan. You know, I like IMDb. I really do. I like IMDb. I think IMDb is like, you know, it's, it's, it's pop culture. It's a standard, right? But I'm cool with it. And I'm on IMD right right now. Tom Cruise returns in sequel Top Gun. Why was Jared Leto against prosthetics for Morbius? Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Wow, Spock looks fucked up. Alright, so that's the end of the credit for... uh, We got through, uh, you know, an hour and 36 minutes. The podcast here, let's see, we're at an hour and 44 I did a couple of rewinds and such. And let me see what I find for werewolves. Werewolves. And there it comes up because it's 2021. Werewolves Within. 
Let's see what it says about it. But then we're, and then we're gonna, we're, I'm going to close out this podcast. I don't want my fucking equipment to malfunction. I did a whole thing on a movie last night. I forget what movie it was. Um, I'm not feeling good, ladies and gentlemen. Just want to let you know. I'm horribly depressed. And I don't know how to find my way out of it. And I don't want to be alive anymore. But at least I can somewhat be under- entertaining. I, I Now I understand a lot more um, people like Robin Williams. Who, who can entertain people and be really funny. And then kill themselves. You just never know. Chester Bennington. Chris Cornell. I just don't want to be here anymore. Storyline. A proposed gas pipeline has created divisions within the small town of Beaverfield. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, we're done. I'm going to look up... um, I'm going to look up Morbius. I'm going to check it out. And I may just uh, back-to-back record it right now if I can stay awake. I'm tired. I'm depressed. I really want to go to sleep. But it's... It's hard for me. Thank you for um, spending this time with me. I don't know. I don't know how many more of these I'm going to be able to get through. I just know that I... I'm just not, I'm not going to be here for long. Well, here's, uh, anyway, peace out. In this self-nip, bobbly-de-bobbly-de-ba-doo-doo.